Hello, my name is Gabriel. I'm a pet room manager for Zamzos, and I'm here to talk to you about Australian frilled dragon diets. Now, we've got a few things laid out here for them. Um, Australian, Australian frilled dragons are an omnivore. They're very light on the green side of things. They don't eat, eat a lot of them. Mostly, it's, it's fruit types of things. I've found that strawberries, blueberries, and other like mangoes and things like that in very small quantities will work for them. Um, sometimes I'll give him a little bit of cabbage to keep his fiber up in his body, and it works very, very good for a frilled dragon. Um, but we're going to focus on the uh, carnivore end of things. We've got a few options here. We've got, to start out with, wax worms. Now, these are not a main part of his diet. They're actually a treat food. Um, they're very fatty. They have a lot of fat in their bodies, and they're very soft-bodied. Um, you keep them in your refrigerator for you know up to six weeks. They, they'll last quite a long time in there, and they love them. They're a very good treat for them. All right, and then we've got, of course, crickets. You can just barely see those guys through this thing. We might actually open it up just a bit so you guys can see what these guys look like moving around here. And that's a standard food for these guys. It's actually very standard that you're going to feed them mostly crickets as a, as a main part of their diet until they get large. And then you can offer them frozen mice that have been thawed, something like that, as a part of their diet. But this is still going to make up a large part of it. As well as king mealworms. These guys are called superworms or king mealworms. They're very, very good and healthy for them. Again, a main part of the diet. Since this guy is a carnivore, he's going to eat a lot of this kind of stuff. Now, as you can see in the enclosure, or even here possibly, we do have a reptile pump going in here to help keep the humidity high for him, as well as to interest him in the water. Sometimes standing water doesn't do it for him. So they'll come down and drink the little droplets off of the outside area from the water itself. All right, now, as with us, we need vitamin supplements when we eat. So do these guys. We have vitamin D3, which you can dust crickets and other animals with. The vitamin D3 is extremely important in the calcium format that it's in to help keep calcium going into their bones as they grow. This is a uh, reptocalcium supplement made by ZooMed with that added D3 in there. We also have vitamin supplement by Ar Arzilla. It's a very good product. You can spray it on any greens that he might eat if he is into eating his greens, or you can spray it actually directly into his water or on him. I don't spray it in their face or eyes, but on parts of their body that they're going to be licking off that fluid, it can help to put some vitamins into their body. All right, if you need any other information or have any other questions, you can always find information on the animals that you see here, the pet care for them, and the uh, actual things that we have for sale here on zamzos.com.